first of all this is going to be scuffed as you can see I've never done something like this before and I'm doing it right now with no prior practice I'm reading a script on the screen because I can memorize what to say otherwise also I got sick a week ago and I'm still coughing a bit but yes this is me Sagai mask this is me behind the mask uh, where do I start before anything else if you're watching this at the day this was uploaded, it means I'm turning 20, 23 years old tomorrow on September 21st. The Q&A video will be uploaded there and it will not be forced because since my family will be at home when I'm exiting it. I'm home alone right now while recording this. Anyway, I wanted to talk about the break I took during May, June, and July. A lot happened to me during those times, more than you will expect. I have a lot to talk about, so I'm just going to sit down and rumble about stuff for a while. Let's go. When I took my break from YouTube earlier this year, I was feeling cramps and burnt out. But I could finally hit the break and pause. At first I simply rested and played games for my backlog one by one and I had fun. More importantly, there was something else I was trying to do, jogging outside. Since the start of 2020, I was taking walks, walks outside almost every day to improve my overall health. I will try to jog that to ten during these walks, but I could only manage to run like 100 or 200 meters at most before becoming becoming exhausted and stopping. I will try. I will try again and again for over two years, often trying to talk multiple times during, during my walks, yet I did not really see any noticeable change. Starting in 2022, I started getting more motivation for trying to improve my jogging and boost myself harder. That's it! It was in the middle of winter, and I don't really try to jog during winter when there's snow and high ice everywhere. So I had to wait until around late April, when the snow starts melting and the temperature warms up. I tried to start jogging again and harder this time, and. And I think I could go on for a bit longer, but not by much. <coughs> May was also when I hit rock bottom with YouTube, and like I kept saying, I had little to no time to take care of myself. So after I posted my YouTube update video and not seen my break on YouTube, I told myself I was going to try. To try my hardest to talk outside and break my limits to, throughout spring and summer. Throughout the next week I will throw myself outside and try to talk as much as I can. I will, I will sweat and breathe a lot but the results were the same. It didn't, it didn't, seem, like I could, it didn't seem like I could run any longer or faster at all. <coughs> I was wondering if it was the fast food set and the lack of sleep that was dragging me down this month. Like, don't get me wrong, Th these two things 100% affect you and are important to improve. But I tried asking my friend Peregrine on Discord on how I could improve my joking and he, and he suggested me to focus on my breathing. 
taking bigger and slower breath even when I feel exhausted. I kept this in mind and the next time, the next time I went out to jog, I instantly noticed a different way with my performance and I managed to jog for 800 meters. My legs felt very sore to the point I could hardly walk after that, but this was also precisely the moment my body started going through rapid changes. The next time I went outside, I jogged 800 meters again, and my leg hardly felt anything. <coughs> In fact, it felt lighter. It was my lung that I had to keep training. A few more jogs later, I finally managed to jog for an entire kilometer, and I could feel mainly my lungs stretching and becoming stronger. Then, at the end, at the end of May, I jog 1.35 kilometers. And then at the start at the start of June I jog two kilometers, which was also exactly the length of the main path that circles around my house. <coughs> this was the point where I was basically no longer walking well outside at all. I go outside, jog, and don't stop until I make it back home. There was no more world gain. <sighs> but before I continue, something else came up came up in my life during this time. By the, by the time it was June, my mind was free from YouTube so to speak. And I started started thinking about and revelating my life a lot. I started feeling self-doubt, stress, fear, confusion, and other negative emotions building up inside me. It's like a shadow assessing me for years and during all that time, I, I hide behind YouTube, refusing to confront myself. And when it finally called, called hold to me, it hit me like a drug mentally. I don't know, I don't know if it comes as full on depression, but for a while I feel I felt not the best, so to speak. To the when I, I almost could not sleep at night. I'm talking two to three hours of sleep here. Even when I try to fall back asleep for a whole hour for an entire hour straight. My eyes will stay wide open. The world felt dark. I had a severe loss of loss of ABC, never angry. I was no longer smiling and so on. But there is one thing that didn't change and that I even use I even used to distract myself from all of it. Joking. Joking outside. During all this, I had never slowed down on the jogging. <coughs> In fact, it only intensified. Intensified. June and July would each become the most the most intense month of my life in their own ways. I would jog while sleep sleep deprived. I would jog while angry or stressed out and use it as fuel. I will have sweat drip into my eyes and irritate me. I will jog when my legs were sore sometimes. I will continue to jog under the sun as it became hotter and more painful in the summer. I will take rest day less often, less often as my legs became stronger. <coughs> Throughout, throughout June, I will jog two kilometers for a number of time to strengthen my body. And suddenly, one day when I feel very angry over something, I jog a vaster 2.4 kilometers and felt dizzy when I came back home. A couple days later, 
I did 3.7 kilometers and was pretty close to coughing and collapsing, but I then I made it home. So a few days later, I will try the kid 3.7 kilometers again, except my dumb ass thought it would be a good idea to try it during a 30 degree summer day with the sun out. I lasted for 2.8 kilometers until I started losing balance and my vision started blacking out. My body pretty much forcibly stopped itself. That was pretty bad, but I just got up the next day and kept on doing 2 kilometers jogs entering July for many days in a row with no rest. In fact, I was pushing myself too hard to the point my body was hurting and I had to take a small break. <coughs> Even at my lowest point mentally, I keep on grinding and grinding and grinding. And fortunately, near the end of June, my mental health was improving as I keep, kept thinking about myself deep inside and learned to accept myself and my flaws. flaws. Anyway, it's not July, as I said, and it was around this time that I also finished recording the EBA 5 Summons All It Silence. I told myself that I could sit down and finish editing this at, at around the middle of July. But I was also conflicted with how to balance my time with jogging. Well, what, what happened is that I prioritized jogging and neglected editing the video throughout the month. At this point, I had become kind of addicted to jogging, especially since I, since I had more energy thanks to reco recovering from, from what seemed like insomnia. I was able to jog around 3.7 kilometers again. And then, before I knew it, I put everything I had into a 4.3 kilometer jog. I remember, I remember the 4.3 kilometer jog in particular, particular because my body transformed again after I ate, achieving, achieving heat. My body was trembling with adrenaline and I could not feel my arms. I was also breathing very intensively. When I finally made it back home, I felt probably the most exhausted in my life I can remember. But, but the next time I went out to joke, my lungs suddenly felt a lot stronger to the point stamina was no longer an issue going onward. I would barely bring manually while jogging at the, at the speed that I was going, that is. And then, just a couple days later, it was a rainy day and I felt pretty excited to jog that day because I've been dealing with sunny days and heat wave for, for too long. After an intense but relaxing jog that drained me in the rain, I came back home after 6.2 kilometers. <coughs> I was I was not even feeling uh, very tired at all. It was my body and most muscle that was that were giving out on me, and my right side and right shoulder were hurting a lot. Oh, and when I came back home, when I came back home. He turns on my reward was waiting for me. <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> it was an, an amazing day. But seriously, well when, when I realized that I was not capable of joking continuously for more than 14 minutes. 
I was impressed with myself and I gave, gave myself a new goal. Joking 8 or 10 kilometers and for one whole hour or more. I kept telling myself that, that I could most likely achieve this during autumn. Autumn. Or however you spell it. Well, it was in the middle, middle of July and I was starting to work hard on the on editing the EPA5 videos while while joking four to six kilometers with rest day resting days there and there. Something that was annoying me however is that my legs will start feeling sore sore and great increasingly often as I keep going even with rest days. My sore legs felt like feel like they were limiting me and dragging me down with what which was frustrating but then on july 25 something interesting happened and when i went to jog during another annoying hot summer day and came back home after four kilometers with my leg feeling sore as usual I took my server and then set on making progress on editing the video and I told myself that I had to speed it up since my planned upload date of July 28 was approaching. <coughs> but then I looked out the window and saw that it was getting dark that it was getting dark and suddenly I felt the hot the hot side calling calling to me. I quickly grabbed my smart smart watch and shoes and went outside to talk again in the same day. But the difference is that I was no longer feeling sore at all like my legs felt felt perfect. I felt open odd and motivated. I don't know where it came from but I jog I jog a lot. Jog jog I did. Four kilometers in I felt nothing. Six kilometers in I felt nothing. Before I knew I knew it, I had broken my record again. But I keep jogging. I did not want to stop. After over 7 kilometers, I started feeling slight pain in my hip, but I in, in, your, in, your, in your head and didn't even consider stopping. 8 kilometers, 9 kilometers. By that point, by that point I, had, I had broken the 1 hour barrier, but I did not stop. 10 kilometers and I was still going. In fact, I've been out for so long that I, that I started feeling hungry and thirsty since I didn't have a large meal before and it was at that point that I was finally getting tired and made my way back, back home. You would think that when I made it back home I will have trouble on the ground while Painting intensely, but no, I just took two or three breaths and climb, climbed my stairs like nothing happened. <coughs> the final results were 12 kilometers in 1 hour and 34 minutes. That's over a quarter of a marathon. Of a marathon. Combined combined with the joke I did earlier that day, it was a total of sixteen kilometers in a little over two hours in the same day. Even now, I, I have no idea how I managed to pull that off, but to say that I came out of it without consequences would be a lie. The next day I could barely walk at all. I could um, I could almost not feel my legs.
<coughs> but it's fine. I expected this to happen. I put I put all of my focus into into finishing the EBFI video and uploaded it, uploaded it online on the twenty eighth. After that, I tried jogging again since it had, it had been a few days and uh, my body wasn't feeling it as much. My muscle would feel sore all the time. In fact, throughout, throughout August, I will start regressing, regressing more and more it seems and my knees and ankles will just start to hurt now. It it wasn't fun anymore. I tried taking a break for around a week, and I had my mom buy buy run, running shoes for me to see if it if it would help. And when I tried again, nothing nothing changed. Simply jogging became painful to my legs, and in general. I was jogging less and less often and for less and less distance. I tried to do a, to do a bit of stretching, but but it still didn't sense anything. It was it was the same. It's like something really bad happened to my body during or just after my twelve kilometer jog, and I don't know what it is. I think it's safe to say that I've. That I have put pushed my body too hard. Like as I'm saying this right now, I, as as I'm saying this right now, I can hardly walk around my house because my left knee hurt quite intense intensely since I jog four kilometers just just yesterday. I can't even jog anymore right now with on my left knee hurting a lot and it. Needing to wait at least at least several days before I can try again. <coughs> but it's fine. That's not what matters. All of that does doesn't remove what I went through, proud and and complete in June and July. I work hard during those two months. Really, really hard. I don't think I put more effort into into something during my whole whole life. Every time I would break my record, I would feel dizzy and nausea, wanting to vomit. And during the hardest moment, the mental pain and stress was was so high that I wanted to cry, and it it sends my life. The biggest and most important thing that happened to me as a result of my effort was not my legs becoming stronger, or and not my lungs no longer needing me to breathe with my mouth to get enough air when I lean. It's actually my my mental fortitude. I became a stronger and more confident person mentally. <coughs> If you asking me to do this face revealed video months ago, I would have yelled no. But now today I am doing it right now and I don't really care. In fact, this is pretty much the main reason I'm doing this. To prove that, that I, I sense as a person that I'm different now. Uh, what is it? Okay there. I'm not as much of a friend and anxious person anymore and the whole time I continue to think about myself and learning more about myself. <coughs> now I did not want to get dark but for a while I go I talk with a different different friend on Discord and the topic of trauma trauma came up. I kept I kept asking myself why why was why I was already an ex anxious fearful person that was paranoid about getting hurt or killed by even my family members 
To the point I have trust this woman cross and I bridge with my brother. And as we kept talking about traumas and life experiences, I've come to a shocking realization. Everything suddenly line up and I feel like it would have been obvious to me the whole time. How do I say this? <sighs> when I was a small, no verbal child that could not talk, we had a guardian look over me when my family was, was away from home. And well, I got abused in secret, hurt, pretty badly. I couldn't. I could not even tell my mom that was uh, that I was scared because again, I was no verbal at the time and could not talk yet. I don't remember exactly how how old I was and how long it lasted before my mom found out, but. A lot of images and memories of it are burned in my mind. And outside of that, I, I have almost zero memories of my early years. But I realized that I was traumatized and mentally damaged back in my whole life. I would get scared when left alone with someone, someone else. Even a family member, I, I, I had severe anxiety problem growing up, and I developed a fearful and non-confident personality. And that's why I'm grateful to myself for for thoughts in grass. It let me challenge myself at one to an extent, gain me you gain me used to pressure and pain. It made me feel alive for lack of a better word. <sighs> it helped me heal the trauma away. I don't know if or when I would be able to talk again like I used to, but either way, I'll never forget those, those two mod, modes of pain, effort, improvement, sweat and learning. It was a wild, wild ride. I really needed something like that to take up my life. And finally I'm wrapping this up, getting near the end. Jesus Christ. <coughs> I'm bad when it comes to explaining stuff in an in unreasonable amount of words and time. So, where do I plan to go from here? Well, to address, to address the elephant in the room? No, I'm not going to be switching to worse, worse commentary for my videos. I, li I live with my family at home and I'm not comfortable with people hearing me talking to my mic. I hardly do th this kind of thing, things when I'm home alone, like right now. If, even if I wanted to, I will need to throw away half of the thing I know about EDD videos and start over on feeding my feet on making videos. Besides, besides I, I like text commentary and Text commentary channels are better than the than the average gaming channel that just pass pass out their video with unneeded rambling like I'm doing right now. I bet I bet all the people who who this and insult this commentary what's enemy with subtitles themselves. Anyway. If I were to ever switch to worse commentary, it would not happen anywhere anywhere near the near future. Like not soon at all. I will first need to find a, find a way to live to life live home alone at least one to an extent. <sighs> right now I can't even figure out my life and future as a whole.
I have no life experience or or education or plans. I just rely on my on my family to survive. If my mom were to die tomorrow, I could very well possibly go starve on the street or at best live poor for the rest of my life. My brother, who is supposed to look after me in the future, can't even figure out how to clean his own car. So, in that way, I'm not really hopeful or too confident. <coughs> to sum it up, my future is, is uncertain, and I, I have many more important things to worry about right now than trying to live alone for the sake of YouTube videos. And that's assuming I still have the interest to keep producing videos in the first place. I could still be go going for going for four years for now on, you never know. I don't even know, maybe it'll be one year, maybe I stop at the end of this year. Like I don't know why I'm gonna stop. Uh, I'll just keep my phone on the gas pedal for now and see where I end, end up, see what happens. It's not like I have a big reason to continue doing YouTube with all the algorithm with my content nowadays. Like no views, no recommendations, no real, real nothing. Like n I don't have enough, enough white men screaming, screaming at the mag in my videos. I don't have enough sensationalist clickbait, not enough stupid clickbait. I'm just doing this for fun and for the sake of my interest primarily. Oh, finally, okay. <coughs> but yeah, this is it. I did not expect this to go on for so long and, and I didn't want it to be. If you're watching this on, on September 20th, you can look forward to the Q&A video that should be coming out tomorrow. It's late, late at night and I'm, the, I'm in the middle of, of editing the Terraria challenge video when, when recording this. Alright, I'm going to sleep. See ya.